The Electrical Ground Zero series really came about as a result of our 10-year mission and that relates to uh, electrical safety in industrial facilities. Today there is about one electrical fatality per day in the industrial sector and our mission as an organization is zero electrical fatalities by 2030. And in order to do that, we know training is going to be a large part of that. And your standard training uh, can be challenging to sit through and to keep the audience engaged. So we've, we've really worked hard to put a great group of speakers together that are relatable and have been involved in, um, in the electrical industry for quite a while. The, the event kicks off with Brandon Schroeder. He is an uh, ARC flash survivor in 2011. He tells his story. He talks about what the recovery process looked like and how that affected his, his family. Uh, he does a great job of setting the stage for our next group of speakers. And then we'll wrap up the event with a, with a four hour electrical safety training class. This will go through uh, arc flash awareness, electrical safety awareness. It'll talk about the hazards and then it'll outline avoidance of those hazards, talking about safe work practices and matching uh, the NFPA's expectation for a three year uh, electrical safety training certification. We train thousands of individuals every year and we've seen what works and what doesn't work. And the most powerful thing when it comes to engaging somebody is people who've been in the field and have really lived it. So we selected people who not only have experienced arc flash or have been in the industry for a long time, but it's the same people that put on the rubber gloves and the PPE and have to open electrical panels and um, be able to work. It's people who create electrically safe work conditions almost on a daily basis or who are uh, operating circuit breakers, troubleshooting panels. Um, really. Trying to create more of a demonstration versus a training seems to be a lot more effective and engaging. Our goal with the Electrical Ground Zero series is to help raise awareness uh, around the dangers associated with electricity um, by engaging audiences uh, who are involved with industrial plants. So that's environmental health and safety managers, uh, plant personnel, maintenance personnel, anybody who is troubleshooting equipment. Um, and your electrical contractors. A lot of the times electrical contractors are the ones who are the front line of not only working on the equipment, but they're the primary source of demonstration a lot of times. Uh, a lot of industrial facilities we visit uh, will talk about the contractor they had to come in and who didn't wear the PPE. And in their minds then they don't have to wear the PPE because they kind of looked at those contractors to be uh, the shining star example of, of what's being done. So. Uh, that's really where this event came about, is trying to get kind of everybody together on the same page and what the expectations are. Hey, this is Emily with EBSCO. Hey, I'm Ross with EBSCO. Hey, it's Christine with EBSCO. Hey, I'm Rory with EBSCO, Electrical Power and Safety Engineering Group. And we're excited to see you at Electrical Ground Zero. The next event we're hosting will be March 18th in Minneapolis. We're inviting EHS professionals, plant personnel, maintenance managers, electrical contractors to come join us. The speaker lineup we have is unprecedented uh, with Brandon Schroeder, our flash survivor, kicking off the event, a uh, number of industry professionals speaking, and then our four-hour training by our very own Lucas Bonin, uh, who's been in the industrial field for nearly a decade. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact us. Uh, we'd be happy to help out in any way we can. Uh, we're really excited for this event. We're really excited to be in Minneapolis on March 18th. EPSCO, electrical power and safety company. Safety, diligence, collaboration.